Let him box. Let him box. Let him make some money. Yeah. Make the real money. Well, the last one for me, man. Uh, Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence Jr. Hopefully, we get it this year. Crawford, come on. Crawford, Crawford, Crawford's slick, man. He's slick. He's good. Tito, I don't know. We'll Tito, see. We'll see. Tito, give me the perfect prediction when. Uh, with the fight with McGregor, what's your prediction when Jake Paul fights Anderson Silva? Uh, Anderson Silva takes him out, I think, in four rounds. But what Jake Paul's done for boxing, I have respect for the guy, man. He's yeah. amazing. But you know what? This is stepping up against some real competition. He's uh, always Triple G, Triple G. Uh, God, that's going to be a good one. I don't know. Canelo's just hard to hit. With Triple G, I, I think uh, if he puts the numbers, he can pull up and win. But I don't know. I think uh, Canelo actually being the one, being a faster fighter, more punches, and Get the draw, no draw, but a win out of it. You know, you were in there with Spider Silver. How, how good is this power? How good are his nuances as a boxer? Um, he's always very uh, elusive. He moves really quick, moves really fast. And once again, I mean, boxing and MMA is totally separate sports. And, and I, I get it, I respect it now just because of uh, the fact that I'm used to overwhelming people and I just try to put my force forward. And I made a mistake by doing that. I should have played the game of boxing and then kind of just stood outside and let my striking do the better, and I didn't. that didn't happen. Can he crack it? Can he keep Jake honest? 